In linear algebra, the Perron-Frobenius theorem, proved by Oscar Perron 1907 and Georg Frobenius 1912, asserts that a real square matrix with positive entries has a unique largest real eigenvalue and that the corresponding eigenvector can be chosen to have strictly positive components, and also asserts a similar statement for certain classes of non-negative matrices. This theorem has important applications to probability theory ergodicity of Markov chains, to the theory of dynamical systems subshifts of finite type, to economics Okishio's theorem, Hawkins-Simon condition, to demography Leslie population age distribution model, to social networks to group learning process, to internet search engines and even to ranking of football, teams. The first to discuss the ordering of players within tournaments using Perron-Frobenius eigenvectors is Edmund Landau. Topic. Statement Let positive and non-negative respectively describe matrices with exclusively positive real numbers as elements and matrices with exclusively non-negative real numbers as elements. The eigenvalues of a real square matrix A are complex numbers that make up the spectrum of the matrix. The exponential growth rate of the matrix powers A is K infinity is controlled by the eigenvalue of A with the largest absolute value. The Perron-Frobenius theorem describes the properties of the leading eigenvalue and of the corresponding eigenvectors when A is a non-negative real square matrix. Early results were due to Oscar Perron 1907 and concerned positive matrices. Later, Georg Frobenius 1912 found their extension to certain classes of non-negative matrices. Topic positive matrices let A equals A I J display style A equals A underscore I J be an N times N display style N times N positive matrix A I J greater than zero display style A underscore I J greater than zero for one I J N display style one L E Q I J L E Q N. Then the following statements hold. There is a positive real number R, called the Perron root or the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue, also called the leading eigenvalue or dominant eigenvalue, such that R is an eigenvalue of A and any other eigenvalue λ possibly, complex is strictly smaller than R in absolute value, λ, rho A display style rho A is equal to R. If the matrix coefficients are algebraic, this implies that the eigenvalue is a Perron number. The Perron-Frobenius eigenvalue is simple, R is a simple root of the characteristic polynomial of A. Consequently, the eigenspace associated to R is one-dimensional, the same is true for the left eigenspace, i.e., the eigenspace for A, the transpose of A. There exists an eigenvector V. Topic. V1, Vn of A with eigenvalue R such that all components of V are positive, A V. Rv, Vi greater than zero for one I n, respectively, there exists a positive left eigenvector W, Wta equals Rwt, Y greater than zero, it is known in the literature under many variations as the Perron vector, Perron eigenvector, Perron Frobenius eigenvector, leading eigenvector, or dominant eigenvector. There are no other positive moreover non-negative eigenvectors except positive multiples of V respectively, left eigenvectors except W, i.e., all other eigenvectors must have at least one negative or non-real component. Lim K infinity A K R K equals V W T display style lim underscore K right arrow inf T a carrot K R carrot K equals V W carrot T where the left and right eigenvectors for A are normalized so that W T V equals one. Moreover, the matrix VWT is the projection onto the eigenspace corresponding to R. This projection is called the Perron projection. Collatz Wieland formula, for all non negative non zero vectors x, let f x be the minimum value of ax i, she taken over all those i such that she does not equal zero. Then f is a real valued function whose maximum over all non negative non zero vectors x is the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue. A. Min max. Collatz Wieland formula takes a form similar to the one above. For all strictly positive vectors x, let g x be the maximum value of ax i, she taken over i. Then g is a real valued function whose minimum over all strictly positive vectors x is the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue. Donska Varadan Friedland formula let p be a probability vector and x a strictly positive vector. Then r equals sub p inf x greater than 0 i equals 1 
n p i a x i x i display style r equals sub underscore p i n f underscore x greater than zero sum underscore i equals one caret n p underscore i x underscore i x underscore i the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue satisfies the inequalities min i j a i j r max i j a i j display style min underscore i sum underscore j a underscore i j l e q r l e q max underscore i sum underscore j a underscore i j these claims can be found in Maya Chapter 8 Claims 8.2.11 to 15 page 667 and Exercises 8.2.5, 7, 9 pages 668 to 669. The left and right eigenvectors W and V are sometimes normalized so that the sum of their components is equal to 1, in this case, they are sometimes called stochastic eigenvectors. Often they are normalized so that the right eigenvector V sums to 1, while W T V equals one. Display style w caret t v equals one. Topic: Non-negative matrices and extension of the theorem to matrices with non-negative entries is also available. In order to highlight the similarities and differences between the two cases, the following points are to be noted: Every non-negative matrix can be obtained as a limit of positive matrices, thus one obtains the existence of an eigenvector with non-negative components. The corresponding eigenvalue will be non-negative and greater than or equal in absolute value to all other eigenvalues. However, the simple examples O110, O100, display style begin p matrix 0 and 1, 1 and 0 end p matrix begin p matrix 0 and 1, 0 and 0 end p matrix show that for non-negative matrices there may exist eigenvalues of the same absolute value as the maximal one, 1 and minus 1 eigenvalues of the first matrix. Moreover, the maximal eigenvalue may not be a simple root of the characteristic polynomial, can be 0 and the corresponding eigenvector 1, 0 is not strictly positive. Second example so it may seem that most properties are broken for non-negative matrices, however Frobenius found the right way to generalize to this case. The key feature of theory in the non-negative case is to find some special subclass of non-negative matrices, irreducible matrices, for which a non-trivial generalization is possible. Namely, although the eigenvalues attaining the maximal absolute value may not be unique, the structure of maximal eigenvalues is under control, they have the form a 2 pi L per hour, where H is an integer called the period of matrix, R is a real strictly positive eigenvalue, and L equals 0, 1, H minus 1. The eigenvector corresponding to R has strictly positive components in contrast with the general case of non-negative matrices, where components are only non-negative. Also all such eigenvalues are simple roots of the characteristic polynomial. Further properties are described below. Topic classification of matrices Let A be a square matrix not necessarily positive or even real. The matrix A is irreducible if any of the following equivalent properties holds. Definition 1, A does not have non-trivial invariant coordinate subspaces. Here a non-trivial coordinate subspace means a linear subspace spanned by any proper subset of standard basis vectors of Rn. More explicitly, for any linear subspace spanned by standard basis vectors A1, Eik, 0 definition 2, A cannot be conjugated into block upper triangular form by a permutation matrix P, PAP-1 does not equal EF0G, display style PAP caret minus 1 NEQ begin P matrix E and F 0 and G end P matrix, where E and G are non-trivial, i.e. of size greater than 0 square matrices. If A is non-negative other definitions exist, definition 3, for every pair of indices i and j, there exists a natural number m such that am ij is not equal to zero. Definition 4, one can associate with a matrix A a certain directed graph gar. It has exactly n vertices, where n is size of A, and there is an edge from vertex i to vertex j precisely when a i j greater than zero. Then the matrix A is irreducible if and only if its associated graph gar is strongly connected. This notion is somewhat reminiscent of that of a free action of a group. If one could somehow build a group out of A, then the space Rn would be an irreducible representation. One can build a group by considering the exponential exp t a t element of R. Display style left L brace exp tar t in mathbound R right R brace. However, the notion of an irreducible matrix is fundamentally easier to satisfy than an irreducible representation because only coordinate subspaces are considered. 
A matrix is reducible if it is not irreducible. Let A be non-negative. Fix an index I and define the period of index I to be the greatest common divisor of all natural numbers M such that M I I greater than zero. When A is irreducible, the period of every index is the same and is called the period of A. In fact, when A is irreducible, the period can be defined as the greatest common divisor of the lengths of the closed directed paths in GAR see Kitchens page 16. The period is also called the index of imprimitivity Maya page 674 or the order of cyclicity. If the period is 1, A is aperiodic. A matrix A is primitive if it is non-negative and its mth power is positive for some natural number m i.e. the same m works for all pairs of indices. It can be proved that primitive matrices are the same as irreducible aperiodic non-negative matrices. A positive square matrix is primitive and a primitive matrix is irreducible. All statements of the Perron-Frobenius theorem for positive matrices remain true for primitive matrices. However, a general non-negative irreducible matrix A may possess several eigenvalues whose absolute value is equal to the spectral radius of A, so the statements need to be correspondingly modified. Actually the number of such eigenvalues is exactly equal to the period. Results for non-negative matrices were first obtained by Frobenius in 1912. Topic. Perrin Frobenius theorem for irreducible matrices Let A be an irreducible non negative n times n matrix with period H and spectral radius rho R equals R. Then the following statements hold. The number R is a positive real number and it is an eigenvalue of the matrix A, called the Perrin Frobenius eigenvalue. The Perrin Frobenius eigenvalue R is simple. Both right and left eigenspaces associated with R are one dimensional. A has a right eigenvector V with eigenvalue R whose components are all positive. Likewise, A has a left eigenvector W with eigenvalue R whose components are all positive. The only eigenvectors whose components are all positive are those associated with the eigenvalue R. The matrix A has exactly H, where H is the period complex eigenvalues with absolute value R. Each of them is a simple root of the characteristic polynomial and is the product of R with an HTH root of unity. Let omega equals 2 pi, h. Then the matrix A is similar to A omega A, consequently the spectrum of A is invariant under multiplication by A omega corresponding to the rotation of the complex plane by the angle omega. If h greater than 1 then there exists a permutation matrix P such that P A P minus 1 equals 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 a h minus 1 a h O O O zero display style pap carrot minus one equals begin p matrix zero and a underscore one and zero and zero and l dots and zero zero and zero and a underscore two and zero and l dots and zero v d o t s and 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 and v d o t s zero and zero and zero and zero and l dots and a underscore h one a underscore h and zero and zero and zero and l dots and zero end p matrix where the blocks along the main diagonal are zero square matrices point nine. Collatz Wieland formula, for all non negative non zero vectors x let f x be the minimum value of ax i, she taken over all those i such that she does not equal zero. Then f is a real valued function whose maximum is the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue 0 0.10. The Perron Frobenius eigenvalue satisfies the inequalities min i j a i j r max i j a i j, display style min underscore i sum underscore j a underscore i j l e q r l e q max underscore i sum underscore j a underscore i j the matrix 00100111 display style begin p matrix 0 and 0 and 1 0 and 0 and 1 1 and 1 and 0 end p matrix shows that the square zero matrices along the diagonal may be of different sizes the blocks aj need not be square and h need not divide n Topic further properties Let A be an irreducible non-negative matrix, then, I plus A n minus 1 is a positive matrix, Maya claim 8.3.5 p, 672. Wieland's theorem. If, b, if some power AQ is reducible, then it is completely reducible, i.e. 
For some permutation matrix P, it is true that PAP minus one equals a one oh 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 a two oh zero oh 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 a d display style pap carrot minus one equals begin P matrix or underscore one and zero and zero and dots and zero zero and a underscore two and zero and dots and zero V D O T S and V D O T S and V D O T S and and V D O T S zero and zero and zero and dots and a underscore D end P matrix where AI are irreducible matrices having the same maximal eigenvalue. The number of these matrices D is the greatest common divisor of Q and H, where H is period of A. If C x equals x n plus c k one x n k one plus c k two x n k two plus plus c k s x n k's is the characteristic polynomial of A in which the only non-zero coefficients are listed, then the period of A equals to the greatest common divisor for k one, k two, k's. Cesaro averages lim k infinity one k i equals zero k a i r i equals v w t display style lim underscore k right arrow inf t one k sum underscore i equals zero k a caret i r caret i equals v w caret t where the left and right eigenvectors for a are normalized so that w t v equals one. Moreover, the matrix v w t is the spectral projection corresponding to r Perron projection. Let R be the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue, then the adjoint matrix for R A is positive. If A has at least one non zero diagonal element, then A is primitive. If 0 A assume A is non negative primitive matrix of size n, then n 2 minus 2 n plus 2 is positive. Moreover, if n greater than 1, there exists a matrix M given below, such that Mk is not positive but of course still non negative for all k. M, M equals 0. 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 Zero 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 display style M equals begin P matrix zero and one and zero and zero and C D O T S and zero zero and zero and one and zero and C D O T S and zero zero and zero and zero and one and C D O T S and zero V D O T S and 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 and V D O T S zero and zero and zero and zero and C D O T S and one one and one and zero and zero and C D O T S and zero end P matrix Topic. Applications Numerous books have been written on the subject of non-negative matrices, and Perron-Frobenius theory is invariably a central feature. The following examples given below only scratch the surface of its vast application domain. Non-negative matrices The Perron Frobenius theorem does not apply directly to non negative matrices. Nevertheless, any reducible square matrix A may be written in upper triangular block form known as the normal form of a reducible matrix. PAP 1 equals B 1 0 B 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 B H display style left begin small matrix B underscore one and asterisk and asterisk and C D O T S and asterisk zero and B underscore two and asterisk and C D O T S and asterisk V D O T S and V D O T S and V D O T S and and V D O T S zero and zero and zero and C D O T S and asterisk zero and zero and zero and C D O T S and B underscore H end small matrix right where P is a permutation matrix and each by is a square matrix that is either irreducible or zero. Now if A is non-negative then so too is each block of PAP-1, moreover the spectrum of A is just the union of the spectra of the BI. The invertibility of A can also be studied. The inverse of PAP-1 must have diagonal blocks of the form BI-1 so if any BI isn't invertible then neither is PAP-1 or A conversely let D be the block diagonal matrix corresponding to PAP-1, in other words PAP-1 with the asterisk zeroized. If each by is invertible then so is D and D-1 is equal to the identity plus a nilpotent matrix. 
But such a matrix is always invertible if n k equals zero. The inverse of one minus n is one plus n plus n two plus plus n k minus one. So Pap minus one and a are both invertible. Therefore, many of the spectral properties of a may be deduced by applying the theorem to the irreducible by. For example, the Perron root is the maximum of the row by. While there will still be eigenvectors with non-negative components, it is quite possible that none of these will be positive. Topic: <laughs> Stochastic matrices. A row column stochastic matrix is a square matrix each of whose rows columns consists of non-negative real numbers whose sum is unity. The theorem cannot be applied directly to such matrices because they need not be irreducible. If A is row stochastic then the column vector with each entry 1 is an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue 1, which is also row A by the remark above. It might not be the only eigenvalue on the unit circle, and the associated eigenspace can be multidimensional. If A is row stochastic and irreducible then the Perron projection is also row stochastic and all its rows are equal. Topic: <laughs> Algebraic graph theory. The theorem has particular use in algebraic graph theory. The underlying graph of a non-negative n-square matrix is the graph with vertices numbered 1 n and arc ij if and only if aij does not equal 0. If the underlying graph of such a matrix is strongly connected, then the matrix is irreducible, and thus the theorem applies. In particular, the adjacency matrix of a strongly connected graph is irreducible. Topic: <laughs> Finite Markov chains. The theorem has a natural interpretation in the theory of finite Markov chains, where it is the matrix theoretic equivalent of the convergence of an irreducible finite Markov chain to its stationary distribution, formulated in terms of the transition matrix of the chain. See, for example, the article on the subshift of finite type. Topic: <laughs> Compact operators. More generally, it can be extended to the case of non-negative compact operators, which, in many ways, resemble finite dimensional matrices. These are commonly studied in physics, under the name of transfer operators, or sometimes ruel perron frobenius operators after David Ruel. In this case, the leading eigenvalue corresponds to the thermodynamic equilibrium of a dynamical system, and the lesser eigenvalues to the decay modes of a system that is not in equilibrium. Thus, the theory offers a way of discovering the arrow of time in what would otherwise appear to be reversible, deterministic dynamical processes, when examined from the point of view of point-set topology. Proof methods A common thread in many proofs is the Brouwer fixed-point theorem. Another popular method is that of Wieland he used the collatz wieland formula described above to extend and clarify Frobenius's work. Another proof is based on the spectral theory from which part of the arguments are borrowed. Topic: <laughs> Perron root is strictly maximal eigenvalue for positive and primitive matrices. If A is a positive or more generally primitive matrix, then there exists a real positive eigenvalue R, Perron Frobenius eigenvalue or Perron root, which is strictly greater in absolute value than all other eigenvalues, hence R is the spectral radius of A. This statement does not hold for general non-negative irreducible matrices, which have H eigenvalues with the same absolute eigenvalue as R, where H is the period of A. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proof for positive matrices. Let A be a positive matrix, assume that its spectral radius rho a. Topic 1 otherwise consider A, rho a. Hence, there exists an eigenvalue λ on the unit circle, and all the other eigenvalues are less or equal 1 in absolute value. Assume that λ does not equal 1. Then there exists a positive integer m such that m is a positive matrix and the real part of λ m is negative. Let epsilon be half the smallest diagonal entry of m and set t m minus epsilon i, which is yet another positive matrix. Moreover, if ax topic lambda x then a m x 
lambda mx thus lambda m minus epsilon is an eigenvalue of t because of the choice of m this point lies outside the unit disk consequently rho t greater than 1 on the other hand all the entries in t are positive and less than or equal to those in m so by gelvan's formula rho t rho m rho a m equals 1 this contradiction means that lambda equals 1 and there can be no other eigenvalues on the unit circle Absolutely the same arguments can be applied to the case of primitive matrices, we just need to mention the following simple lemma, which clarifies the properties of primitive matrices. Lemma Given a non-negative A, assume there exists M, such that M is positive, then M plus 1, M plus 2, M plus 3 are all positive. M plus 1 equals A A M, so it can have zero element only if some row of A is entirely zero, but in this case the same row of M will be zero. Applying the same arguments as above for primitive matrices, prove the main claim. <laughs> Power method and the positive eigenpair For a positive or more generally irreducible non-negative matrix A the dominant eigenvector is real and strictly positive for non-negative A respectively non-negative. This can be established using the power method which states that for a sufficiently generic in the sense below matrix A the sequence of vectors BK plus 1 equals ABK ABK converges to the eigenvector with the maximum eigenvalue. The initial vector B0 can be chosen arbitrarily except for some measure 0 set. Starting with a non-negative vector B0 produces the sequence of non-negative vectors BK. Hence the limiting vector is also non-negative. By the power method this limiting vector is the dominant eigenvector for A, proving the assertion. The corresponding eigenvalue is non-negative. The proof requires two additional arguments. First, the power method converges for matrices which do not have several eigenvalues of the same absolute value as the maximal one. The previous section's argument guarantees this. Second, to ensure strict positivity of all of the components of the eigenvector for the case of irreducible matrices. This follows from the following fact, which is of independent interest. Lemma, given a positive or more generally irreducible non-negative matrix A and V as any non-negative eigenvector for A, then it is necessarily strictly positive and the corresponding eigenvalue is also strictly positive. Proof. One of the definitions of irreducibility for non-negative matrices is that for all indexes i, j there exists m, such that m i j is strictly positive. Given a non-negative eigenvector v, and that at least one of its components say jth is strictly positive, the corresponding eigenvalue is strictly positive, indeed, given n such that n i i greater than zero, hence, r n v i equals a n v i n i i v i greater than zero. Hence r is strictly positive. The eigenvector is strict positivity. Then given M, such that M i j greater than zero, hence, R M V j equals A M V j M i j v i greater than zero, hence V j is strictly positive, i.e., the eigenvector is strictly positive. Topic: <laughs> Multiplicity 1 This section proves that the perron frobenius eigenvalue is a simple root of the characteristic polynomial of the matrix. Hence the eigenspace associated to perron frobenius eigenvalue R is one-dimensional. The arguments here are close to those in Maya, given a strictly positive eigenvector V corresponding to R and another eigenvector W with the same eigenvalue, vector W can be chosen to be real, because A and R are both real, so the null space of AR has a basis consisting of real vectors. Assuming at least one of the components of W is positive otherwise multiply W by minus 1. Given maximal possible alpha such that U equals V alpha W is non-negative, then one of the components of U is zero, otherwise alpha is not maximum. Vector U is an eigenvector. It is non-negative, hence by the lemma described in the previous section non-negativity implies strict positivity for any eigenvector. On the other hand, as above at least one component of U is zero. The contradiction implies that W does not exist. Case, there are no Jordan cells corresponding to the perron frobenius eigenvalue R and all other eigenvalues which have the same absolute value. If there is a Jordan cell, then the infinity norm A R K infinity tends to infinity for K infinity, but that contradicts the existence of the positive eigenvector. Given R equals 1, or A, R. Letting V be a perron frobenius strictly positive eigenvector, so A V equals V, then V infinity equals a 
K V infinity A K infinity min I V I A K infinity V min I V I Display style V underscore inf T equals a carrot K V underscore inf T G E Q a carrot K underscore inf T min underscore I V underscore I tilde tilde right arrow tilde tilde a carrot K underscore inf T L E Q V min underscore I V underscore I So ac infinity is bounded for all K. This gives another proof that there are no eigenvalues which have greater absolute value than Perron Frobenius one. It also contradicts the existence of the Jordan cell for any eigenvalue which has absolute value equal to 1 in particular for the Perron Frobenius 1 because existence of the Jordan cell implies that ac infinity is unbounded for a 2 by 2 matrix jk equals lambda 1 o lambda k equals lambda k k lambda k minus 1 o lambda k display style j caret k equals begin p matrix lambda and 1 0 and lambda end p matrix caret k equals begin p matrix lambda caret k and k lambda caret k 1 0 and lambda caret k end p matrix hence jk infinity topic k plus lambda for lambda 1, so it tends to infinity when k does so. Since jk equals c minus 1 akc, then ac jk, c minus 1 c, so it also tends to infinity. The resulting contradiction implies that there are no Jordan cells for the corresponding eigenvalues. Combining the two claims above reveals that the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue R is simple root of the characteristic polynomial. In the case of nonprimitive matrices, there exist other eigenvalues which have the same absolute value as R. The same claim is true for them, but requires more work. Topic: No other non-negative eigenvectors. Given positive or more generally irreducible non-negative matrix A, the Perron-Frobenius eigenvector is the only up to multiplication by constant non-negative eigenvector for A. Other eigenvectors must contain negative or complex components since eigenvectors for different eigenvalues are orthogonal in some sense, but two positive eigenvectors cannot be orthogonal, so they must correspond to the same eigenvalue, but the eigenspace for the Perron Frobenius is one dimensional. Assuming there exists an eigenpair lambda, y for A, such that vector y is positive, and given R, x, where x, is the left Perron Frobenius eigenvector for A, i.e., eigenvector for A, then Rxty. Topic X T A Y X T I Topic Lambda X T Y also X T Y greater than zero, so one has R Lambda since the eigenspace for the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue R is one dimensional, non negative eigenvector Y is a multiple of the Perron Frobenius one. Topic: Collatz Wieland formula. Given a positive or more generally irreducible non-negative matrix A for all non-negative non-zero vectors x and f x as the minimum value of ax i, she taken over all those i such that she does not equal zero, then f is a real valued function whose maximum is the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue r. Here, r is attained for x taken to be the Perron Frobenius eigenvector v. The proof requires that values f on the other vectors are less or equal. Given a vector x, let she equals f x, so zero she x x and w to be the right eigenvector for a, then w t she x w t x. Topic w t a x r w t x, hence she r. Topic Perron projection as a limit ac r k. Let A be a positive or more generally primitive matrix, and let R be its Perron Frobenius eigenvalue. There exists a limit ac R k for k infinity, denoted by p. P is a projection operator p two. Topic p, which commutes with A ap. 
P A. The image of P is one-dimensional and spanned by the Perron Frobenius eigenvector V, respectively for Pt, by the Perron Frobenius eigenvector W for it. P. Topic V W T, where V W are normalized such that W T V. One. Hence P is a positive operator, hence P is a spectral projection for the Perron Frobenius eigenvalue R, and is called the Perron projection. The above assertion is not true for general non negative irreducible matrices. Actually, the claims above except claim 5 are valid for any matrix M such that there exists an eigenvalue R which is strictly greater than the other eigenvalues in absolute value and is the simple root of the characteristic polynomial. These requirements hold for primitive matrices as above. Given that M is diagonalizable, M is conjugate to a diagonal matrix with eigenvalues R1 Rn on the diagonal denote R1 equals R. The matrix Mk, Rk will be conjugate 1, R2, Rk Rn, Rk, which tends to 1, 0, 0, 0, for k infinity, so the limit exists. The same method works for general M without assuming that M is diagonalizable. The projection and commutativity properties are elementary corollaries of the definition MMK RK. Topic MK RKM P2. Lim M2K R2K. Topic P. The third fact is also elementary M PU equals M lim MK RKU. Lim R M K plus one, R K plus one U, so taking the limit yields M Pu equals R Pu, so image of P lies in the R eigenspace for M, which is one dimensional by the assumptions. Denoting by V, R eigenvector for M by W for M T. Columns of P are multiples of V, because the image of P is spanned by it. Respectively, rows of W. So P takes a form A V W T, for some A. Hence its trace equals to a W T V. Trace of projector equals the dimension of its image. It was proved before that it is not more than one dimensional. From the definition one sees that P acts identically on the R eigenvector for M so it is one dimensional. So choosing WTV. Topic 1 implies P. VWT. Topic Inequalities for Perron Frobenius eigenvalue For any non nonnegative matrix A, its Perron Frobenius eigenvalue R satisfies the inequality R max I J A I J Display style R, L E Q, max underscore I, sum underscore J, A underscore I J this is not specific to non-negative matrices for any matrix A with an eigenvalue lambda display style script style lambda it is true that lambda max i j a i j display style script style lambda leq max underscore i sum underscore j a underscore i j this is an immediate corollary of the Gershgorin circle theorem. However, another proof is more direct. Any matrix-induced norm satisfies the inequality a lambda display style script style a g e q lambda for any eigenvalue lambda display style script style lambda because if x display style script style x is a corresponding eigenvector a a x x equals lambda x x equals lambda display style script style a g e q x x equals lambda x x equals lambda. The infinity norm of a matrix is the maximum of row sums a infinity equals Max one I M J equals one N A I 
J Display style script style left a right underscore inf t equals max limits underscore one l e q i l e q m sum underscore j equals one carrot n a underscore i j. Hence, the desired inequality is exactly a infinity lambda display style script style underscore inf t g e q lambda applied to the non-negative matrix A. Another inequality is min I J A I J R display style min underscore I sum underscore J A underscore I J L E Q R. This fact is specific to non-negative matrices. For general matrices, there is nothing similar. Given that A is positive, not just non-negative, then there exists a positive eigenvector W such that or Topic R W and the smallest component of W say y is one. Then R or I the sum of the numbers in row I of A thus the minimum row sum gives a lower bound for R and this observation can be extended to all non-negative matrices by continuity. Another way to argue it is via the Collatz Wieland formula. One takes the vector x equals one 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 and immediately obtains the inequality equals topic further proofs equals topic parent projection the proof now proceeds using spectral decomposition the trick here is to split the parent root from the other eigenvalues the spectral projection associated with the parent root is called the parent projection and it enjoys the following property. The parent projection of an irreducible non-negative square matrix is a positive matrix. Perrin's findings and also 1, 5 of the theorem are corollaries of this result. The key point is that a positive projection always has rank 1. This means that if A is an irreducible non-negative square matrix then the algebraic and geometric multiplicities of its parent root are both 1. Also if P is its parent projection then AP. Topic P A Row A P so every column of P is a positive right eigenvector of A and every row is a positive left eigenvector. Moreover, if AX Topic Lambda X then PAX Lambda P X Topic row a p x which means p x zero if lambda does not equal row a. Thus the only positive eigenvectors are those associated with row a. If a is a primitive matrix with row a. Topic one then it can be decomposed as p one minus p a so that an p plus one minus p n as n increases the second of these terms decays to zero leaving p as the limit of n as n infinity. The power method is a convenient way to compute the parent projection of a primitive matrix. If v and w are the positive row and column vectors that it generates then the parent projection is just West Virginia, vw. It should be noted that the spectral projections aren't neatly blocked as in the Jordan form. Here they are overlaid and each generally has complex entries extending to all four corners of the square matrix. Nevertheless, they retain their mutual orthogonality which is what facilitates the decomposition. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Peripheral projection. The analysis when A is irreducible and non-negative is broadly similar. The parent projection is still positive but there may now be other eigenvalues of modulus rho a that negate use of the power method and prevent the powers of 1 minus p a decaying as in the primitive case whenever rho a equals 1. So we consider the peripheral projection, which is the spectral projection of A corresponding to all the eigenvalues that have modulus rho a. It may then be shown that the peripheral projection of an irreducible non-negative square matrix is a non-negative matrix with a positive diagonal. equals topic cyclicity topic Suppose in addition that row a 
1 and A has H eigenvalues on the unit circle. If P is the peripheral projection then the matrix R. Topic app. P A is non-negative and irreducible. R H equals P and the cyclic group P R R two. R H minus one represents the harmonics of A. The spectral projection of A at the eigenvalue lambda on the unit circle is given by the formula H minus one one H lambda minus K R K display style script style h caret minus one sum underscore one caret h lambda caret k r caret k. All of these projections, including the parent projection, have the same positive diagonal. Moreover, choosing any one of them and then taking the modulus of every entry invariably yields the parent projection. Some donkey work is still needed in order to establish the cyclic properties six eight, but it's essentially just a matter of turning the handle. The spectral decomposition of A is given by A. Topic R one minus P A. So the difference between an and R n is an minus R n. One minus P and representing the transients of n which eventually decay to zero. P may be computed as the limit of A n H as n infinity. Topic caveats the matrices L equals 1001011 display style left begin small matrix 1 and 0 and 0 1 and 0 and 0 1 and 1 and 1 end small matrix right p equals 1001011 display style left begin small matrix 1 and 0 and 0 1 and 0 and 0 minus 1 and 1 and 1 end small matrix right t equals 0 one 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 oh one 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 oh display style left begin small matrix zero and one and one one and zero and one one and one and zero end small matrix right M equals O one O O O one O O O O O O O one O O O O O one O O one O O display style left begin small matrix zero and one and zero and zero and zero one and zero and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and one zero and zero and one and zero and zero end small matrix right provides simple examples of what can go wrong if the necessary conditions are not met. It is easily seen that the parent and peripheral projections of L are both equal to P, thus when the original matrix is reducible the projections may lose non-negativity and there is no chance of expressing them as limits of its powers. The matrix T is an example of a primitive matrix with zero diagonal. If the diagonal of an irreducible non-negative square matrix is non-zero then the matrix must be primitive but this example demonstrates that the converse is false. M is an example of a matrix with several missing spectral teeth. If omega Topic A pi three then omega six one and the eigenvalues of M are one omega two omega three omega four so omega and omega five are both absent. Topic Terminology. A problem that causes confusion is a lack of standardization in the definitions. For example, some authors use the terms strictly positive and positive to mean greater than zero and zero respectively. In this article positive means greater than zero and non-negative means zero. Another vexed area concerns decomposability and reducibility. Irreducible is an overloaded term. For avoidance of doubt a non-zero non-negative square matrix A such that 1 plus A is primitive is sometimes said to be connected. Then irreducible non-negative square matrices and connected matrices are synonymous. The non-negative eigenvector is often normalized so that the sum of its components is equal to unity. In this case, the eigenvector is the vector of a probability distribution and is sometimes called a stochastic eigenvector. Perron Frobenius eigenvalue and dominant eigenvalue are alternative names for the Perron root. Spectral projections are also known as spectral projectors and spectral idempotents. The period is sometimes referred to as the index of imprimitivity or the order of cyclicity. Topic. See also Z matrix, mathematics, M matrix, P matrix, Hurwitz matrix, Metzler matrix, quasi-positive matrix, positive operator. Equals equals notes.